Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And this is going to be a quick video tutorial, kind of showcasing more of the Muse Motion widget, um, as well as the new update to the Animator widget, which is now uh, the Animator 1.3. Uh, so I have a quick example here. So I'll just go to File, Preview Page, and Browser. And we can see this little guy animates, and then we have uh, this text here animate as well. And this whole animation kind of comes in as well. Um, the animation coming in is done with Muse Motion. Uh, this little guy animating is done with Muse Motion. And then I have an effect from the animator uh, widget here uh, for this effect. Uh, so I'm just going to recreate this real quick, and I'm going to be using uh, the uh, Muse Motion widget as well as the animator widget. Uh, so I'll just go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK. I'll go to my blank site here, and then I'll open up that image. So I'll right click here, open with Adobe Illustrator, and I'll take the background off here. And the first thing I want to do is select just this middle part here. So I'm going to hit select it and then hit Command C to copy. And then in Muse, I'll just hit Command V to paste. And I'll paste it right in there. And then I'll go back in to Illustrator and I'll copy this guy here because I want to animate him and I'll just paste in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is place this guy kind of over here at the top because I kind of want him to like spin in and, and dive into the coffee cup. And I'm going to bring him to the front. So I'm going to right click, arrange. Oh, and he's already in the front, so we can leave him there. Um, the next thing I want to do is bring in the Muse Motion widget. So I'll go to my library panel. Uh, if you don't see your library panel, you can go to Window and then click on Library, and that'll bring up the library panel. And then let me erase this here. Uh, I'll go to the Muse Motion widget, which is right here. Uh, because it's the first animation, I'm going to bring in the Muse Motion widget initial. So I'll just click, hold, and drag and place onto the Adobe Muse website. And there we have it. So now I'm going to uh, yeah go into the widget. And we can see that the graphic style name here is Motion 1. So I'm going to assign this graphic style name uh, to this image here so we can animate him. So I'll click on it, then I'll go to Graphic Styles. Uh, if you don't see your Graphic Styles panel, you can just go to Window and then click on Graphic Styles and that'll bring it up. And then I'll create a new graphic style. I'll click here on this little icon that uh, kind of looks like a piece of paper. I'll click on it and I'll double click on Style and I'll call the style Motion 1. Uh, because it's the graphic style name in the widget. So now anything I do in this widget, it's going to be assigned uh, to this image because it has the graphic style name Motion 1. Uh, if you did change this in here, you, you would just have to change it here for the element. But uh, we can leave it at Motion 1 here. Okay, so now anything that I do to this uh, widget is going to be uh, assigned to this element. So the first thing I want to do is I want the, the, uh, the character there to animate uh, 360. So now if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, we can see he just animates, and he animates very uh, quickly. So let me go back into Muse here, and I'm going to rotate it and give the rotation duration uh, a duration of three seconds. Uh, because it's in milliseconds, 3,000 uh, milliseconds equals three seconds. Uh, so I'll go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, and we can see he just spins there. So now, uh, let me stop clicking on Illustrator. Uh, so now what I want to do is translate uh, this guy to from this position to this position here in the center uh, of the coffee cup. Um, and let me just make sure that this coffee cup is centered, and it is. Um, so this just takes a little bit of playing with. So I'm going to kind of, kind of eyeball it a little bit. Um, I'm going to say this is about 150 pixels to the left, and then it's going to be maybe 200 pixels down this way. So I'll go in here, I'll go to translate, and I wanna translate from zero to negative 150, because it moves it on the X axis, negative 150, and then I'll translate, I'll translate it on the Y axis uh, to 200. And because it's going down, um, we'll say, we'll give it a positive no number, um, and we'll say 200. So now I'll go to file, preview page, and browser, and there we go. Um, so we can see that it can go a little bit more to the left and the Y can go a little bit more down. And I have it rotating clockwise. I want him to rotate counterclockwise. Um, so I'll go back into Muse Motion and I'll rotate him negative 360. And then I'll go to Translate and we'll say negative 200. And we'll say maybe 250 here for the Y axis. 
and I'll go to file preview page in browser and we can do more on the x-axis so let's do that translate negative uh, 250 and let's see how that looks preview page in browser and we're getting there so maybe 300 negative 300 for the translate and I'll go to file preview page in browser and that's looking good um, and we can move him up a little bit because he's kind of on the edge of the coffee cup that would probably hurt the little guy so let's move him up a little bit uh, let's say 2 230 um, and then I don't want that uh, too much bounce to to the uh, the character there so I'll set the number of bounces to zero and I'll go to file preview page in browser and there we go um, and I've changed that for the rotation uh, yeah for the translate I changed it to zero I want to change it to zero uh, for the rotation as well so he doesn't kind of go past the coffee cup and I'll go to file preview page and browser and there he goes perfect so he just kind of dives into the coffee cup there I don't know why he's he's doing a 360 oh I went to the wrong uh, there he's just really excited so he kind of flips into the coffee cup uh, but as you can see you can really play with this uh, widget and and really animate um, your different elements to create a cool animation uh, with different elements so the next thing I want to do is I want to group all of these and have them animate together initially so I want it to like all scale together so to have elements scale together uh, what you can do is create a transparent background behind it so I'll just create a rectangle and I want to make sure that it covers all of these elements and I'll send this rectangle to the back and now I'll give this rectangle um, a, a graphic style name or first I'll bring in the uh, Muse Motion additional because I'm going to add another Muse Motion and so I'll click Muse Motion additional widget and I'll bring it in here and then I'll give this rectangle the graphic style name here in the additional we see it's instance number two in motion two so I'll give this rectangle um, the graphic style name motion two so I'll double click and I'll say motion two and then for the scale because I want it I just want it to scale I'll say from zero to one so it goes from um, yeah zero to, to the largest scale so I'll click preview page in browser and it fades in or scales in and this little guy animates here alright so it's moving along so the next thing I want to do is animate um, this little section here that says best friends so I'll just copy this from Illustrator and I'll paste it into Adobe Muse and I'll kind of center it right there and then for this I'll select the animator widget so I'll go to my library panel and I'll select the animator and it's now the animator uh, widget 1.3 and because it's the first animation I'll select the initial and here we can see that it looks uh, a bit different I'm using the new uh, Adobe Muse widget interface um, yeah the new widget interface and I've added the iteration option so you can make it uh, animate as many times as you want and um, yeah I think yeah I've added that feature and for some animations they used to animate from like the left to the center so now I've changed it so that those animations look really good and they animate just directly in the center uh, so those are the updates to the 1.3 um, so for this one I'm just gonna pick an animation I'm gonna say flip in uh, flip in X because this is, this is a good example of it animating in the center and I'm gonna iterate it three times so we can see it uh, iterate and then I'll click on the widget uh, excuse me on the element here I'll go to my graphic styles and here in the animator it's animate one so we want to give this element the graphic style name um, animate one so I'll click on the uh, new style icon I'll double click and I'll call this animate one so now if I go to file preview page and browser we can see it all animates together and this animates three times okay and if I want this best friends to animate as well with the rest of them I just have to make sure that the rectangle um, covers uh, this section as well so I'll go to file preview page and browser and we can see that it came in so if you want to group elements you just want to make sure that the transparent background is around all the elements that you want grouped and that um, and because this has the graphic style name from this, this motion too, um, all those elements that are in this rectangle um, are going to be animated 
So again, I'll go to file preview page and browser, all the elements animate together. This little guy dives into the coffee cup and this uh, animates with the an with the animator widget. Um, and I can change the animation. I can say, you know, like um, space in, space in up, and we'll change the iteration to one. And the duration will say uh, three seconds. And I'll say file preview page and browser. And there we have the smooth animation that comes in. And we could even add a delay to this animation. So I'll click and I'll add a delay of, let's say three or two seconds. So again, it's in milliseconds. So 2000 milliseconds uh, equals two seconds. I'll go to file preview page and browser. There it goes. And then this animates in. So we can have a really nice animation here. And we could even get more involved with the animation. So for instance, if I wanted to bring in the shake, shake, shake widget, um, I can just go to my library panel. Um, I'll just bring in the shake, shake, shake widget, click, hold and drag right there. And I'm going to animate this little coffee cup here. Um, kind of just give it like a, a little bit of a shake. So we'll have it shake slow. Um, and then, yeah, we can leave it at shake one. I'll click on this coffee cup, uh, this, this element here, I'll go to graphic styles and I'll click, click on new graphic styles and I'll call this uh, shake one. All right. So now if I go to file preview page and browser, uh, we see that it's kind of shaking and uh, looks looks good. Okay, so there we have our animation. So I'll go to file, preview page, and browser, and there we go. And then best friends here, uh, we have a coffee cup, and we could work with this guy here. We could kind of give him more animation or have him animate with everything else. Uh, because he is rotating in, um, the other animations don't really work with this little guy here, but we can play around with it and get something interesting. Uh, by anim animating more elements uh, together. Uh, so that's the example of the Muse Motion widget and the Animator widget. There, there was uh, a new update to the Animator widget. Um, it has a new interface. Uh, you can add iteration to it, and um, yeah, and, and elements that used to animate from like the left are now perfectly centered, and it looks really great. Uh, so if you did purchase the Animator and uh, you want to re-download it, you can just go to the download link that was sent when you first purchased it, and you'll download the latest version. Uh, if you don't see that email, let me know, and I'll resend it to you. Um, and if, you, if you're if you part of the subscription, you can just go to the subscription and uh, re-download the animator widget. So to get access to these widgets, uh, you simply go to museforyoushop.com, and then here I'll click on the pop-up, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Uh, and if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here uh, to use PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widgets individually, uh, you can click here on Muse Motion. And then here you can simply click on Add to Cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. Um, there's the Muse Motion widget, and then the Animator widget is here. Um, it has 139 animation effects, and the same thing, you can click Add to Cart or get access to all widgets for 39 a year and any new widgets I come out with. All right, and here's the change log, lets you know what's been changed. Um, and the new interface is really great uh, for widgets. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Uh, it makes it real simple to navigate through the options and kind of change things around. Yeah, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, again, I'm really excited about uh, providing these widgets and helping you animate your Adobe Muse website, um, as well as other widgets to help you add more functionality uh, to your Adobe Muse website. Um, I have a lot of exciting widgets coming out very soon, um, so stay tuned. And again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.